Are Manchester City about to be bigger than Manchester United? Manchester City's magnificent triumph in England over the last two decades begs the question, will they be able to topple Manchester United to become the biggest club in Manchester? No matter how hard it is for the Red Devils to accept this fact, judging by the performances of both the Manchester sides over the last decade, Manchester City is clearly and by far the superior team right now. The Reds haven't managed to grab the Premier League title since 2013, during which time the Sky Blues have lifted the trophy five times. They've also proven to be a solid side in the Champions League, while Manchester United have barely been able to qualify for the competition. Nevertheless, regardless of City's current form, Manchester United is, without a doubt, the bigger team of the two. Not only are they bigger than City, but Manchester United is the biggest club in England and one of the biggest clubs in world football, behind the Spanish giants Real Madrid and FC Barcelona. How big a club really is basically depends on three interlinked pillars – achievements, support and wealth. The other important factor is identity, which comes from the club's notion of history. Did you know that both Manchester United and Manchester City had different names when they were established? Manchester United was founded in 1887 as Newton Heath. They officially became known as Manchester United in 1902. City was established as St Mark's West Gorton in 1880, but became known as Ardwick Association FC in 1887. They officially became known as Manchester City in 1894. Let's kick off the comparison with the most important of these pillars, achievements. Whether you're talking about football, basketball or any other sport, there is no debate about the fact that trophies are what makes a team truly grand. If you're a football fan in your teenage years, you've seen City lift far more titles than United. This might create the misconception that City have celebrated more glorious moments than United did. In the last decade, yes, but in history, no. If you take a look at the trophy cabinet of both of these clubs, you'll see that City is actually far behind United. In fact, Manchester United is the second most successful club in the history of English football. The Red Devils have won a total of 42 major trophies in their history, English and European trophies combined. They are only three behind their greatest rivals, Liverpool, who have the largest collection in England of 45 major trophies. They share the top spot for most overall trophies in England with 66 each. Manchester City, on the other hand, is far behind these two giants with an overall of 29 trophies, of which 20 are major ones. Manchester United have 20 league titles, which is the most of any English club, among which 13 of them were achieved in the Premier League era, which is also the highest of any club. Meanwhile, Manchester City has a total of 8 league titles and has the second most Premier League titles with 6. United also has double the number of FA Cup titles with 12 compared to City's 6. However, City leads the way in terms of League Cups, achieving 8 titles compared to United's 5. Even though Manchester City has been really successful domestically, they are yet to taste silverware in European football. Their only achievement in Europe was the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup in 1970, which is not even considered a major trophy. United, on the other hand, has won 3 Champions League titles, one UEFA Europa League title, the UEFA Super Cup, Cup Winners Cup, the Intercontinental Cup, as well as the FIFA Club World Cup. Manchester United is also one of the seven teams in the world to win the treble. They won the Premier League, FA Cup and UEFA Champions League in the 1998-99 season to become the first and only English club to date to win the treble. Manchester United has also been relegated fewer times than Manchester City. In their entire history, the former was relegated only once in 1974 and played second division football for one season before achieving promotion again. They haven't played below top flight football ever since and are also among the six clubs to have never been relegated in the Premier League era. Manchester City, on the other hand, has been relegated 11 times in total. In fact, they are the only team to have relegated right after winning the top flight. City was also relegated from the Premier League in 1996 and faced its darkest period after getting further demoted to the third tier or Division 2 in 1998. They were able to make a comeback to the Premier League by 2000 but got demoted again for another year. They've stayed in the top flight ever since and made an incredible comeback winning the title in 2012 thanks to Aguero's iconic late winner. Manchester United have won a good number of trophies in the past 
but their main haul came during the 1990s and 2000s. Their golden era was under the great Sir Alex Ferguson, who was in charge of the Red Devils for 26 years, from 1986 to 2013. During this period, he won 38 trophies with United, including 13 Premier League titles, to make him the greatest manager in football history. He won the Premier League title in his final season, which was also the last time United won it. Ever since Fergie left, United haven't recovered and they haven't been the same. Manchester City, on the other hand, are currently enjoying their golden era, which started in 2008 after the takeover by Abu Dhabi United Group. Being the richest club in English top flight at the time, City were able to make big money signings and attract top quality players to improve their team. Their best signing was Spanish manager Pep Guardiola, who helped the side win four league titles and 10 trophies in total in just six years. Even though they haven't achieved European glory yet, they have performed much better than Manchester United in European championships since his arrival. Manchester United is also ahead of Manchester City in terms of featuring the most legendary players. Although several big names have played for either of these sides in the past, no City player has ever won the Ballon d'Or, which is considered to be the most prestigious individual award in football. However, four United players have won the award over the years. Dennis Law, Bobby Charlton, George Best and of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. Apart from their sparkling trophy cabinet, United is also the most followed and the most supported club in England. They are also the third most popular club in the entire world, behind Real Madrid and FC Barcelona. They have established a truly global brand thanks to all the success they achieved in the 1990s and 2000s under Fergie. It is practically impossible to find out how many fans a team has, but according to the combined number of social media followers across Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube, Manchester United has over 180 million followers, whilst Manchester City has over 90 million followers. If you have ever heard United fans teasing Manchester City for the lack of fans, it is mainly because City's fan base is much, much smaller than that of United. In reality, the Sky Blues actually have a massive fan base, not only in England, but across the globe. In fact, according to a research publication by Spanish media outlet Sports, Manchester City's fan base grew by an astonishing 523% in recent years, whilst their rivals Man United saw a 19% drop. Now let's take a look at their wealth. Manchester United's Old Trafford Stadium, also famously known as the Theatre of Dreams, is the most iconic stadium in all of England. Built in 1909, it has a capacity for accommodating 71,140 Red Devils. The City of Manchester Stadium, also known as Etihad Stadium, is a much more modern arena built in 2002. Although it isn't as big as Old Trafford, it can still host up to 53,400 citizens. You might find United fans mocking City fans about their empty stadiums, but the truth is, both these teams regularly sell out games across all competitions, so their average attendance is very close to their full capacities. Manchester City has generated the highest revenue of any club in the world in their latest financial year of 645 million euros. United are much below them, recording an annual revenue of 558 million euros. However, United are ahead in terms of net worth, which is estimated to amount to approximately $4.6 billion, while City are just behind with a worth of approximately $4.25 billion. Both Manchester United and Manchester City have long and proud histories of their own, with varying degrees of success enjoyed in the 20th and 21st centuries. Many legendary players have graced their jerseys over the years. However, with more trophies won overall, a bigger stadium, a richer history, featuring more legendary players, and a greater global appeal historically, Manchester United can legitimately claim to be the biggest club in Manchester, for now at least. However, as time passes, people forget what you used to be. Maybe this is why current generations are finding it more difficult to associate United with the impoverished club that they once used to be. Meanwhile, Guardiola has successfully established the philosophy of his football in Man City's game and won several trophies. Their philosophy in recent era of dominance has helped them broaden their appeal to supporters of this generation. Just as empires rise, they also fall and United's time in the sun has certainly diminished over the last decade or more, with City's success leaving their local rivals in the shade. Theoretically, if this run continues, then City will most certainly be able to catch up to United, even if it takes 20 or 30 years. 
However, realistically, the chances of that happening are extremely low, because considering the grandeur of United and the resources they have, the Red Devils are bound to reclaim their form and the top trophies soon enough. We've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more football related videos. For more interesting football videos, click the video appearing on the screen now, and I will see you in the next one.